everyone, my name is Linda from Lehano Fashion School here in Bini City. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing us how to make use of a print online. So I get a lot of these questions and over the years I've run a fashion school, so many of my students always ask me, Ma, how do we use a print online? Like I know a lot of fashion designers out there or a lot of upcoming designers always have issues working with a cream online. So that is the reason why I've decided to bring this video to you today. So like we all know, we have different sizes of cream online in the market. And make sure to get your preferred size. So, and we also have this very strong cream online and the soft ones. We have a lot of very soft cream online in the market. And make sure to get the strong cream online to work with. So and you have different colors as well, black, white. I think the strong one actually comes in just in black and white color. You don't find colors in the strong cream online. Yeah, I think so. You don't find colors in the strong cream lines, but for the soft ones, you get to find a lot of colors that you want. But when you want to work with the strong one, it has just black and white in color. So, you know, the reason why we always use the cream online, cream online is mostly used on flare dresses or, or flare skirt like a circular skirt or six piece, something that has a drapey effect. You want the crino line to make your skirt or your dress to drape more, to have like this bouncy drapey effect. That is the reason why we always work with a crino line. It gives this dress a distinctive look. So today I'm going to be showing us. So with me here today, I have this dress that we're going to be using the crino line to M the bottom. So if you want to learn how to make use of a crino line, Keep watching this video and stop. Make sure to share this video, like and subscribe. If you are a new subscriber, please click the like and the subscribe button and become a part of this. Guys, yeah, so you're going to start sewing from the right side of your fabric. So here is the right side, the good side, and here is the wrong side of my fabric. So I'm going to be sewing on the right side. So and there's a very very little trick for you to note when working with a crino line you don't have to drag it you don't have to draw it you just have to be very very tender with it with it you have to be very very tender when you sew so like you don't have to do some stuff like this like dragging it as you are sewing you just have to be tender just keep going and you see it will be very very easy for you to sew so i'm going to start sewing i'm just going to so i'm just going to be maintaining my 0 0.5 inches seam allowance so and you have to try as much as possible to maintain your allowance. So I'm just going to keep going carefully, carefully. I'm not going to drag it. So you're just going to keep sewing and sewing until you get to the other end. And don't forget, we are not dragging the crino line. We are not stretching it. We are just placing it slightly as we go. So we're almost at the end. That's it. So you pull this out and you cut. So I'm just going to take a okay, I'm going to cut that out. So now we are finished sewing all the way, all the way, all the way. So, so we have sewn from one end to the other end. So the next thing you want to do now, after sewing on the right side. You want to flip it over to the wrong side. Huh? So you want to flip over like so to the wrong side. So you want to flip everything. You want to flip it over. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. You want to flip it over and give it a good press. You are going to flip and you're going to give it a good press like so. Can you see? So you are going to press it before you continue sewing. So I put on my iron and I'm going to make sure I set my iron on low heat. Eh? So I'm going to set it on low heat and I'm going to do this. Let me get the camera close so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. So you can see that. Can you see? So this I'm going to press it. And I'm just going to keep pressing, keep pressing all the way till I get to the other end as well. Yes, baby. I'm just going to keep pressing it like so. So when you press, it helps it to give it a nice stability. It makes it stable once you press. So that's I'm just going to keep pressing everything all the way down now to keep it nice and neat. So don't forget to keep your iron on low heat. Don't forget you have to keep your iron 
on a low heat so i'm just going to keep pressing and i'll show you guys and we can continue so so guys i've ironed that everything and it's looking all nice and neat so like i said you have to iron it it makes it stable so this is the good side and this is the wrong side so i gave it a good press all the way and it's looking really really flat so you should do this this is another very very important trick eh? you need to iron it and you put your iron on low heat eh? so this will make it really really easy for you to sew all along mm? so now we're going to start sewing and we're also going to start from one end here's the good side like i said before and here's the wrong side so it's all ironed and looking all flat and neat so now i can take it back to my sewing machine to sew so previously we started sewing from the right side from the good side so now i want to sew on the wrong side after ironing so i need to bring the camera close so you guys can see what i'm doing so now this is it and you are going to try as much as possible to maintain a straight stitch like you know your stitch is going to be showing on the good side of your garment so try as much as possible to maintain a straight stitch so i'm just going to be sewing by the edge of the crinoline so i'm going to start sewing by the edge of the crinoline just like so and i'm going to try as much as possible to use that edge of the crinoline as a guide i'm just going to be sewing directly on the edge of it so that will help me to maintain a really straight stitch so and i'm just going to go gently so it's a good thing that i've already ironed it so everything is just looking all nice and flat and stable so that's the most important thing it makes your crinoline ironing your crinoline makes it stable so as we sew so that is the good side already so so it's really easy guys crinoline line is really easy just be careful and be patient that's just it so as you can see my my iron has practically done almost all the job for me all i need to do is just to keep sewing and i'm just eyeballing the edge i'm just sewing along the edge of the crinoline. line as you can see i'm just sewing along the edge of that crinoline. line so and you have to make sure to maintain a straight stitch because your stitch is going to be showing at the good side of your garment so i'm just going to keep sewing until i get to the other end and i'll show you guys so here is what we have done so far here is the good side you can see here is the good side you can see my stitch already on the good side and this is the wrong side so like i said you should try and sew directly on the edge of your crinoline line on the wrong side and this is how the good side is looking right now so i'll just sew to the other end and i'll show you guys what it looks like guys it's that simple just simple so i'm just going to take out my thread and i'm going to show you guys what this looks like so yes the wrong side and yes the good side as you can see the good side and the wrong side and now my crino line is stable so i'm just going to put this dress you can see it's already having the bouncy effect which was the aim of the crino line so it's already having this bouncing drapey effect at the end so now my crino line is sewn in and this is the good side and the wrong side you see so it's that simple guys and it's looking all beautiful so i'm going to put this dress on the mannequin so we can see what this height looks